to Kurlba Farms. I thought I might uh, take some videos of my attempt at uh, regenerative agriculture. So I've got a herd of cattle, uh, shorthorn and Angus, and uh, I'm basically rotational grazing on a seven day uh, scale at the moment uh, due to my other commitments outside the farm but I I thought it's it's a good record of what I've done and the failures and maybe successes hopefully of regen ag so if I just pan across this is the paddock that they came from so there's a um, so they've been in this paddock for close to seven days and they've uh, eaten out as much as uh, they could in that time period there's still a bit of uh, ground cover which is good um, the spring for our area is it's just coming in uh, it's been quite a cold winter still is a we've just finished another cold week uh, but uh, the results are the results are good so far for a good good wet spring one of the uh, one of the advantages I can see already is that um, the grass seems to come back quicker and stronger every time I uh, take them off and give it rest. So I thought now I might start recording it and just seeing whether or not it, it, it is actually true or whether it's just uh, my imagination. But they seem to be uh, healthy cattle. The bull's been put in. Maximus, you can see him at the back. I only have one bull uh, for this lot. And uh, this is about as far as I, I want to go. I want to see whether or not I can actually uh, make some sort of decent living um, from a very small farm holder and see whether uh, I can sell this beef uh, to that retail market. Uh, try to make some living with some fresh regenerative bag and meat. These are going to be all grass fed um, from birth uh, to their final days. So I just want to see whether or not nutritionally the meat uh, has a significant difference between what we buy in the local store or butcher is uh, what we can do straight from the farm. I'm still uh, still learning as much as I can. I learn from people like Greg Judy, Gabe Brown, Ray Archuleta, and uh, I'm, I'm learning every day. And so now I want to put that learning into practice and see whether the soil becomes better, the meat becomes better and uh, and hopefully there's, there's a lot of more worms and more bacteria and more fungi uh, pushing those cycles around and, and dragging that carbon from the atmosphere uh, down into the soil. Next video I'll, I'll show you how things are moved. Um, uh, at the moment, uh, I just thought as the introductory video, I'd just show you the cattle and uh, show you what my aims and objectives are. Um, but uh, these guys are held in by electric fence, uh, so it's just a portable, portable electric fence. And uh, obviously, they um, have grass and then water at the back end. So I'm using it almost like a hexagon, half a hexagon with uh, 
the water being in the middle and uh, then spinning out um, and giving them strips of paddock as we go. So let's just see. So we'll, uh, I'll take a video of, of moving the cattle next time and, uh, and, uh, and we can go from there. All right, take care and uh, from Coolabar Farms, take care, ciao.